Hello everyone. I am Dr. Sirajul Akfaisi. I welcome you in my YouTube channel. Today in this video, I am going to talk about Eldol congregations. So let us start Eldol congregation. You know, friend, Eldehydes functional group, CHO. Aldehydes having alpha hydrogens. What is meaning of alpha hydrogens? CHO, this hydrogens, we just leave it. We have the another CH3 group, and that hydrogen is known as alpha hydrogens. So aldehydes having alpha hydrogen undergo self condensation. You know the condensations, removing a small molecules from two molecules. So, alpha hydrogens undergo self condensation on warming with dilute or mild base. Warming with dilute or mild base to give beta hydroxy aldehyde called aldols, aldehyde plus alcohol. This, this reaction is known as aldol condensation. Now you can see the reaction scheme. Here, this is acetaldehyde. This is the functional group, aldehyde, and this is the CS3. This hydrosense is known as alpha hydrosense. So it is acetaldehyde as alpha hydrosense. Now, self condensations, you have the another acetaldehyde, and this acetaldehyde, and this acetaldehyde undergo self condensations after removing a small molecules. So you can see here are the formations of 3-hydroxybutanal. Butanal means aldehyde and alcohol. This is the aldehyde function group and this is the alcohol function group. This position is alpha and this position is beta. Now, further it gives Bute 2 enal. This is alpha beta unsaturated aldehyde. Now, the reagents such as dilute sodium hydroxide, equus alkali, carbonate, or alkali metal oxide may be used. Eldol condensation has broad scope. It can occur between two identical or different aldehyde, which contains alpha hydrogens, two identical or different ketones, which contains alpha hydrogens, and aldehyde and a ketone. So when the condensation is between two different carbonyl compound, it is called a cross aldol condensation. Crossed, crossed aldol condensation. Now you can see, this compound formaldehyde and this compound does not have alpha hydrogen, but this compound have. So this compound has alpha hydrogens and this is not. So this one is cross, both are aldehyde. One is formaldehyde, another is acetaldehyde. Undergo self condensations. So this is not the self because this one is different. That's why we are saying this is the crossed. This is the cross indole conversations. So acetaldehyde and formaldehyde undergo condensations in the presence of base. And it gives alpha beta unsaturated aldehyde. Now, mechanisms. You can see in step one, the hydroxide ion, which is coming from the base, hydroxide ion deprotonates the aldehyde reversely. You can see this is the hydroxide and this is the hydrogens. We trap this hydrogens and forming this CH2CHO. And this is the part. In step two, enolate ion one 
adds to the unreacted aldehyde. This is the another molecule. So this carbon ion attack on this carbon and then carbon oxygen double bond will shift on oxygen and it is in equilibrium. You can see the second, this is CH3CHO minus CH2CHO. And then in a step three, alkoxide ion two is protonated by water. This oxygen is protonated by water and formation of hydroxide and formation of this compound, which is three. The next step four, aldol three is an enolizable aldehyde. A small amount of it is converted to corresponding enolate ion by the hydroxide ion. Now, you can see this OH minus trap this hydrosols and forming this anion. And enolate ion four loses a hydroxide ion. So this will shift here and this lose hydroxide ion forming alpha beta unsaturated aldehyde. So my friends, I hope this video will be beneficial for you. If you like this video, then subscribe my channel and thanks for watching.